press it, by the time it gets through all the wiring system into the thing, the lights are a little bit behind. So you actually have to be on the off beats. Like are we going to be programming it so it does it automatically, or like, like I didn't understand what you said earlier about some of the some pieces. Of them. Some of the pieces, like this, you would have just had 4D light cues that you would have just written. So do you really want to like write 40 light cues for that one piece, or really. run it run it by hand where you pretty much know what you're doing? Yeah. So some pieces, this is more of like a rock and roll setup. Mm -hmm. This board can be used for rock and roll theater. It can actually you can plug it into an exhibit at like a museum. We can use it in its multiple different fashions. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a number of cues that you're just like go, 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 and then you're just gonna you'll go to a blackout. You'll run a scene on all your submasters, and then your next cue will be the following scene where they just come back up and they're just acting and, and using the scenes. Okay. So my idea for you guys is try and run you through multiple uses of the board, so mm -hmm. that when you guys are designing, you get to choose how you want to use the board. Go on, Maggie. So go ahead. Hit. 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 Hit, hit, hold, 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 hold.